For this project, I'm gonna be making some soft plastic shads. I've already drawn up a design on the computer. And for this video, I'm gonna be making the master from balsa and epoxy using some basic hand tools. just scribbling a bit of felt tip on the surfaces of this balsa wood. I've cut this down from a larger sheet, it's six millimeter, and I did that by using a mortise gauge that I sat a little over the width of the body, and then just scored the balsa on both sides and snapped it open. I also marked up a little over length, and then using a fine razor saw, just cut to length. The reason for the felt tip is I'm gonna glue these two pieces together, and that colour is really going to help me define the centre line before I start carving. That's had a, a couple of minutes to dry. I'm just going to square up the ends using a, a sanding block. This is just a, a scrap piece of wood that's got two square edges that I've stuck some medium sandpaper to. And because I'm using it on a flat surface, I should transfer that squareness to both edges. So to get started on the shaping, I've got a couple of templates that I've drawn up and printed out, and I'm gonna cut out the top view and literally stick it on top of the wood. To use a template, I can cut relatively close to the line while keeping the saw as near to a right angle as I can. And then I can come back with a sanding block and refine that shape until it touches the line. Where the body tapers towards the tail, it actually curves in slightly. And to sand there, I'm using some paper wrapped around a piece of plastic that I've cut from a piece of drain pipe. I'm really checking for squareness as I work with this. For the sides, I can repeat the process using the other template and sawing as close as I can. And then again, it's with the sanding block for the external curves. But on the internal here, I'm using a craft knife to get rid of the bulk of the material. And then it's back with that bit of plastic drain pipe to tidy things up. To round out the profile, I'm going to be using some more drain pipe, but uh, with the sandpaper on the inside. And rather than use a larger piece, I've cut it down to a smaller section to help me get round the body. But first of all, I need to use a knife to get rid of some of the bulk. I want to make sure I'm taking an even amount off the top and bottom and also I only need to sand until that flat area in the middle disappears. This will take less time on the tail area where it's narrow but towards the center I'll use the knife a bit more to save me sanding time. To make the round those for the top and bottom, I can use a sanding block with a smaller radius. This is something I've made by just rubbing a drill bit, wrapping some sandpaper into a couple of bits of balsa until I've got a little channel that I can add some super glue to and stick in my final piece of paper. To use it, I can just rub either side as kind of equally as possible and also check it for symmetry as I go along. To make the paddle for the tail, I've stuck together a couple of blocks of balsa wood and sawn one of the edges using a template to give me the kind of right angle. On the back, I've stuck down another template which will actually give me the shape of the paddle and I really need to taper this down to where it meets the back end of the body. There isn't any real method that I know of doing this accurately, so I'm really just gonna wing it and work by eye.
So to fit the tail, I've pushed in a molding pin that I've cut the head off, and I'm just gonna turn that round. And then add a drop of super glue to it. Then when that's had a little time to dry, I can push the tail on and make any adjustments before adding some more glue to hold it in position. And then it's just a case of sanding it in to get a neater joint. So I've given the body just a base coat by rubbing on some five minute epoxy. Um, I've left that for about an hour to cure and then I'm just giving it a bit of a sand back with some fine paper. This is really just to knock off any fibers that the epoxy's kind of stuck up. I need to lay down some heavier coats and I'm gonna do that with a brush. To get the body to sit in the vise, I've added a little nail to the front and this vise is great because it means when I apply the epoxy I can keep it rotating so it doesn't all sag and run to the bottom. The drawback with five minute epoxy is that five minute working time. So I need to work fast to get an even coat and also pop any bubbles. For this I'm wafting a little blow lamp over the surface. Generally the epoxy self levels if it's not too thick, so it kind of pulls itself into a smooth surface. But it seldom does that on the first brush coat, so I'm probably gonna apply a couple more with half an hour spaces between them. So that's the third and final coat. I'm gonna leave this overnight to fully cure. And this is really where I'm gonna leave this video. Next time I'll be dealing with kind of finishing it and adding some details, making a mold and casting some layers. Then I'll be doing some testing using the rig that I built for the last video. And if that all goes well, hopefully I'll be out and about catching some fish. On the end of the last video, I asked if people had a preference for a day or a time to post these weekly videos. And I think the general consensus was keep it random. Um, so that's really what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and aim for the weekend, so probably between Friday or Monday, but I'm just gonna see how they fall. Thanks for watching and thanks for the feedback. I'll see you next time.